Hello beautifuls, how are you doing? This is day 17, I think, of uh, lockdown here in New Zealand. As you can see, Archie is behind me. He's been there most of the day asleep. And I have Lily down here on the floor and Hank has just walked out the door. Um, so today, oh, Hank's coming back in. Come here, Hank. Come here, boy. So today I'm going to talk about smudging. Now, day 16, 17, uh, we're heading into week three here of uh, our lockdown and um, uh, some of you will be in a house full of people and uh, for some it will be um, quite hard to be amongst a lot of people all of the time because you're just not used to it. And there may be family dynamics going on and all sorts of stuff going on. And of course, if there's been any arguments or even bad feeling, that can create negative energy and that atmosphere in the home. So white sage, this is my well-used white sage stick. And this was one. So I have bits that have come off that one. Um, white sage and burning it. The Amer Native American Indians used to do it or do it uh, and it is to clear your space of negative energy. Sit down boy, sit down. He's waiting for his dinner. Uh, so let's first of all talk about what it can do. Now I know it clears negative energy and um, but it also does a lot more and I've actually had to look up more of what it does so what it does is it purifies the air it actually purifies the air which is awesome makes the air nice and clear and fresh and I'll tell you a story about a couple of things actually where I've done it and the uh, other family members haven't known on separate occasions and I've gone through the whole house saged it and I open all doors, sage in the showers, uh, all cupboards, uh, the whole lot gets done. And with intention, I send the sage smoke through the walls, connecting with absolutely everything. Um, so uh, one time I had saged and um, a family member came back about an hour and a half later. So I'd had all the windows open, the smell had gone, so they didn't know what I'd done. And they came back in and they went, wow, I can see. Everything looks so clear in here. So it's noticeable. Now, obviously, if you're all at home now, then um, you're all gonna know that you've saged the place, but still, it will do what it needs to do. Another time, another family member came back after I'd saged, and he said, wow, it feels really nice in here. So honestly, it really works. So this is what it does. Purifying. It actually helps to keep infectious bacteria, viruses and fungi at bay. Sage, really good stuff. Um, now, you might have sage in the garden if you haven't got a sage stick. You might have sage in the garden that you can pick and dry and burn in a vessel. I, I use this, but you can use anything that's heat proof. So you don't go using anything plastic, of course. And you can dry your own sage and go round and um, obviously don't burn your fingers and burn it and use that to clear. So a lot of us can get hold of sage, even if when you go to the supermarket next, you can uh, get hold of it. Now I use a feather to waft the smoke. You don't have to use a feather, you can use your hand. Um, so yes, it is antibacterial and uh, antimicrobial and will help keep fungi and stuff at bay. So it's really good anyway to do it in your house regularly. Uh, even if, if uh, you know, everything's fine within your family. 
it just clears any negative energy and you know sometimes you might not know that there is negative energy because somebody might feel a bit put out or um, a bit annoyed about something and they've thought these thoughts maybe aimed at somebody else in the house that in itself creates negative energy so it's really really good to do this so okay so it may help relieve symptoms of some conditions so i'm just trying to find out what that is and it's obviously it's things that are called caused uh with bugs so um pollution dust mold things like that in the house um people with asthma and allergies and bronchitis it might actually help according to what i'm reading here um, I don't know that. I don't, I don't know that for sure. I mean, when you burn it, it smells really nice. So um, quite possibly does. A spiritual tool. Yes. Now this is what I use it for. So I uh, use it to clear negative energy, like I said, throughout the whole house. It can help keep spirits away. It doesn't actually send them over to the light which is where they need to go if they're earthbound spirits um, but it is really really good for that type of thing and clearing clearing space definitely negative energy it really clears negative energy really really good at doing that um, it can empower certain objects so you can actually say you get uh, obviously we can't do this now but you might go to an antique shop and buy a piece of furniture and you might think well, it doesn't quite feel right well you can get your sage out and actually sage this piece of furniture and because you're putting intention into it to completely clear it of any energy or even negative energy from any of its previous owners it works really really good so any type object like that, anything in particular you want clearing, might be a piece of jewellery, might be a crystal you're given or a gift or a car, you've bought a car, sage inside your car, I've, that, I've done that before. Um, every time I've moved into a new house, I do a full spiritual clearing and sage everything, every time. Uh, so it's really, really good for that too. It's so easy to do. It really is. Uh, it can help improve your mood because you've done something proactive to clear the energy in the house and it makes you feel a lot better. But even the smell of sage, because you're breathing it in as well, it can actually help clear you, yourself. And it soothes stress. Now that is to do with the smell, but yes, it is to do with the fact that you are doing something proactive to make a difference in your household. It can improve the quality of your sleep. Um, well, negative energy interferes with sleep. So if you've cleared all the negative energy, you are going to sleep a much better. It is very clearing for your mind. So you're breathing it in, like I said before, so you're walking around, wafting it around everywhere, breathing it in, and it's it helps with clarity and clearing your mind and gives you a boost in yourself, makes you feel a bit energised. And it's got a, a lovely smell. I love the smell. So I am going to talk you through what I do with it. So whether you're going to use your dish, you've dried your sage, you've put your sage in, if you can see that, there's uh, lots of little bits in there of sage. I could light them up now and they would burn. So what you do, I'm going to light a piece now so I can show you, because you don't have a flame going. I'm sure the animals will leave if they don't like the smell of this. So... You light it and you blow it out and then you produce the smoke. So you can use a piece as small as this, as long as it's white sage. 
or sage, you know, sage out the garden. Remember, you can put your intention into it as well. So I go round the house, like I said, I've opened all the cupboards, all the shower doors, absolutely everything. I love the smell of this. Mmm, absolutely love it. So when I go round the house saying, while I'm wafting the smoke with the feather, I clear this house of any negative energy, just a little bit just went on the carpet then, I clear this house of any negative energy and I fill this house with love and light and feel your heart expansion as you're filling the place with love and light. So you're going round clearing this space. So like I said, it could be a car, could be a house, could be something that you're doing in particular and you're clearing this space of negative energy and I walk around the whole house doing this. So I do it over beds, under beds, in the wardrobes, uh, open the drawers, go in the drawers, like I said, in the shower. Negative energy tends to accumulate and collect into little nooks and crannies. So. This door is open here, which I will show you. The back of the door, open door, nice little space at the back there. So negative energy can go into there, under tables, um, corners of rooms, up high in the corner of a room as well. So I go around the whole place, wafting and clearing, and I do it in a way, or I've started off first, I completely feel in that centered space myself and I go round and I clear and I fill each space with love and light. So I clear all negative energy and fill this space with pure love and light. If you want, before you start doing it, you can call all your guides in to come around and help you. It's entirely up to you. Um, now, there's different people say that you should have a feather, if you're going to use a feather, that you should have a feather that is from a ground bird. I personally, I don't see that that makes a difference. Like, like I said, you can even use your hand if you want. Uh, literally, the main thing is that the sage is going everywhere. But uh, you can make a ceremony of it. And start off at the beginning by blessing everything. Uh, and then you've got your feather and uh, you've got your um, white sage stick or your bowl with your sage in. And you can go round and um, clear the place like that by doing it in a full ceremony. Now sometimes it's nice to do that. Uh, you don't necessarily have to do that. Um, you can just like I said get yourself into that nice space and then go around with your sage stick with your bowl with sage in it and your hand or feather and go around and completely clear everything it really really works and considering that you know we're all in lockdown and there might be people that are feeling a bit disgruntled for some reason maybe because they couldn't get their own way or have, have, there's been an argument in the house or or just that, you know, um, someone's feeling a little bit out of sorts, get your sage out if you can and go round and clear. You can do it as many times as you want. You don't need to do it several times a day, of course, but you could do it uh, one day, leave it, leave a day free and then do it another day, depending on the dynamics in the house and how you feel about the energy in the house. So... Uh, I'm going to leave you with this. It really, really works and um, it would be good for you to do it and just to see how well it works for yourself. Um, and uh, I hope that there is no arguments and things going on in your families and that everything is hunky-dory and you're enjoying your time together. But we know that normal human company, if you're in each other's space 24-7, then often some bad feelings and things can happen. This will clear it so it doesn't linger. If negative energy lingers, it can start affecting everyone in a negative way. So it's important to, for me to say that. Um, I really hope that you are having uh, fun wherever you are. 
and that you're keeping uplifted because there's so much information out on the internet about all sorts of stuff about other countries and how things are going with the COVID-19 and all that stuff and a lot of other countries have suffered and you know what in New Zealand we are doing really well so far so it is important to stay in unless you absolutely have to go out to get some food or go to the pharmacy or doctors or whatever it is or go and help so someone else in in some way or you're an essential service so stay safe keep happy keep that beautiful good vibes going no fear absolutely no fear keep good vibes keep happy keep uplifted and you know why i say that because the more uplifted you are and the more positive and everything else your immune system is up here then so uh, lots of love from me uh, this is day 17 of lockdown uh, if you're new to my channel please please subscribe and please share so other people get this information as well and we can share good vibes all around the world as much as we can to keep that vibe high um, and if you would like to know more about what I do, please go to my website, which is www.ginnyjoneshealing.com. Lots and lots of love from me here. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.